Here's problem 36, 7. A concave mirror has a focal length of 20 centimeters. What is the magnification if the object and the image distances are 10 centimeters and minus 20 centimeters respectively? So a focal length, 20 centimeters. Object distance, 10 centimeters. Image distance, minus 20 centimeters. If we're just looking for magnification, that should equal a negative Q over P. And in this case, that would be a negative, negative 20 over 10, which would give us a magnification of 2. So the image should be twice the size of the object, and it should be upright, because our magnification is positive. Let's see if we can graph this. We have a concave mirror, so it's caved in, and our focal length is 20 centimeters. So let's put our focal point, say, in there. And our object distance is 10 centimeters. So our object is located inside the focal point, halfway between the focal point and the vertex. If we imagine a ray coming from the focal point, uh, flowing through our object, reflecting off this mirror, it would come out parallel to the principal axis, because it appears to come from the focal point. If we had another ray go from the object to the vertex of this mirror, it would come out with an equal angle to what it came in with. If I follow those rays backward from where they appear to come from, I would get the location of my image. So the image is actually behind the mirror. It is upright, as we expected, because we have a magnification that's positive. And the image is twice the size of the object. Here's our object, and here's our image. The image is also located about as far behind the mirror as the focal point. It's minus 20 centimeters, so it's behind the mirror by 20 centimeters. It is negative image distance because the outgoing rays are on the left side of the mirror and the image is behind the mirror, so it's not on the side of the outgoing rays. So everything checks out. We, we have an image upright, magnification of 2, a negative image distance. That all makes sense. So, Looking good.